I am Dietmar Döring, engaged in Sri Lanka for the last 37 years and presently the CEO of the Asian German Research Institute. Yeah, welcome back on my channel. Today I want to show you some data and statistics in some charts referring to tourist arrivals in Sri Lanka, but not only in Sri Lanka, also in neighboring countries such as Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia and Maldives. In order to get a, a better picture where Sri Lanka stands in comparison to neighboring countries. So the tourist arrivals uh, of Sri Lanka for October 2022, you can see the chart here, we had in October 2022 42,000 uh, arrivals in Sri Lanka and uh, you can see the splitted uh, data uh, from uh, the origin countries from where the tourists had been coming, there's India, Russia, United Kingdom, Germany and Australia and I refer especially because I'm a German I specifically refer to Germany with only 2,881 tourist arrival, which is far underperforming compared to other countries here in the region. So we make, we take the next small chart that shows the tourist arrivals coming uh, out of different countries visiting Vietnam, same period in October 2022. And you can see here the total number for October 2022 is uh, 484,000 tourist arrivals. So that is a tenfold difference to Sri Lanka. So only 10% of uh, tourists who are visiting or who have visited uh, Vietnam in the month of October, only 10%, a marginal 10% only. Sri Lanka had attracted to come and there may be reasons for that. So when we speak about um, Vietnam and Sri Lanka in comparison, and I had it in one of my videos and you can see the link here to that when I talk about uh, why is Vietnam so well performing when it comes to tourists uh, in, in comparison to Sri Lanka, terribly underperforming and there are reasons for that. So uh, two countries, both countries, they have a little similar historical background. Both countries had experienced uh, terrible wars. Uh, why I can say uh, Vietnam definitely has experienced a more uh, drastic and uh, uh, very much impactive war with uh, uh, United States of America and uh, French people and uh, heavy bombings. Their uh, earth had been polluted by uh, dioxin, uh, the bombs had been dropped uh, all over in uh, Vietnam and they called this substance what they had dropped, Agent Orange, contained uh, a lot of dioxin and out of that even uh, Vietnam is suffering up to these days. In Sri Lanka we had a 30 years conflict, an internal conflict that was uh, evenly drastic for the image of Sri Lanka in the world, in the western world in particular. So we had also a terrible experience in that way. But both countries in a similar way uh, experienced wars but the outcome after that is uh, so much different. No? So a tenfold difference in arrivals in October and both countries have faced now the same situation. We had the pandemic, we had Corona over the last two three years. Uh, airports were closed, countries were closed up and all that. However, Vietnam has managed a tenfold better performance. Now we come to Thailand, equally also affected by the pandemic. Uh, they have received only in October more than 3 million, to be exact, 3.1 million uh, visitors to Thailand. So that is uh, also a very amazing figure. Uh, Vietnam, by the way, uh, in 2019, that was uh, actually before the beginning of the pandemic, they welcomed nearly uh, 18 million tourists and in Sri Lanka we had nearly uh, 2 million, little more than 2 million 
at the same time. No? So we are coming to the reasons again a little while later. Uh, what is interesting now, which was one of the obstacles that Sri Lanka, we identified that in our network, that Sri Lanka underperformed, that was the um, great gap, uh, the difference in airfares. Now that has been leveled now and very interestingly, uh, for November and December we have got the airfares and Sri Lanka stands in comparison to other nations here in the area. Uh, f uh, you can see on that chart here the airfares Frankfurt to Sri Lanka for November and December fairly moderate uh, November uh, Emirates offering for 1000 I think US dollars Sri Lankan Airlines is uh, better with 977 Qatar Air was with 950 and Oman Air with 1000 so uh, in December even the airfare is dropping which is also very amazing because it's high season Sri Lanka a little bit uh, increasing but it's fairly moderate except Oman Air jumping out of that scale. Now the airfares from Frankfurt to Thailand for November and December, that's very interesting. You can see when you compare the airfares to Sri Lanka, they are more expensive. So uh, throughout uh, the uh, five or four airlines which we have selected here, very interestingly, before two years, three years, four years, Sri Lanka was suffering uh, from exorbitant airfares offered uh, to the European markets and it was nearly a disqualifier for uh, Sri Lanka uh, people. They prefer to travel cheaper to the neighboring countries here. Now that is, cannot be the reason that Sri Lanka is underperforming. The airfares are moderate, they are good. Airfares Frankfurt to Vietnam, similarly it's slightly above that what is offered to Sri Lanka. No? So we are in a good track here and uh, we will say the airfares Frankfurt to Maldives, we have uh, even much higher airfares, but Maldives in comparison actually cannot be compared to Sri Lanka. Maldives is uh, uh, targeting, has a total different audience, uh, target audience than Sri Lanka has. So when we compare and come to a conclusion now, the airfares are moderately com very competitive to other countries. So what's the reason that only in comparison to Vietnam, a 10% fraction of tourists are coming to Sri Lanka. What is the reason? Referring to my previous clip regarding the misconceptions and uh, I think one of the main reasons could be that uh, Sri Lanka is getting such tremendous negative ratings or better to say caution notices, travel warnings from the foreign countries in particular here where the, I was referring to the German travel notice which describes mm -hmm. Sri Lanka basically as a no-go zone. So I think that that should be addressed and uh, it should be addressed in a way that it has an impact on the foreign missions here and we as researchers we can only recommend the Sri Lankan government and here the head of state to put a hand in it and probably summon uh, some of the Western ambassadors and really try to rectify that uh, negative image what has been publicized which has no relationship to the ground situation. I will close here with and uh, remember make Lanka great again, everyone can do something. I wish you all the best and see you next time. Best regards from Mara Villa, Northwestern Coast, your Dietmar Döring. Goodbye.